everybody. I hope you're doing well. I hope your first couple video lessons have gone great and gone pretty smoothly. Today I wanted to take some time and review some of the digital text features that we had learned about in our last reading lesson and I also wanted to review some of the regular text features that we've learned previously in the year. So let's go ahead and start with the digital text features. It's going to kind of be a quiz so I want to hear you saying things out loud and I want to hear you interacting as I show you some of the text features. All right, ready? So when I point to this up here, when we type this in, who remembers what that's called? If you're saying it's called the web address, you're correct. All right, now I come down here and I see a really big text feature. This one should be familiar from the beginning of the year and familiar from our chart the other day. If you're saying this is called a photograph, you are correct. All right, let's keep going. When I come down here, I see a text box. That was from earlier in the year. If I look up here, I see a heading. We know that headings help us organize information so that way we know what we're going to be reading about in that section of text. As I come down here, I see Antarctica. Sorry, yes, Antarctic is underlined. When we see something that's underlined, who remembers what digital text feature that's called? Did anybody say hyperlink? You can also call it a link, all right? Now as I keep going, I see two more hyperlinks. I see fish and squid, and I know if I click on them, they're gonna take me to another place, all right? That way I can learn more about these. All right, let's go back to my regular page where I was, I wanna stay on topic. As I come down here, I see a specific type of photograph. What would you say this is called? This visual is called a map. A map is a special type of text feature. It shows us where things are located. All right, as we keep going down, you're gonna see we're at the bottom of our web page. All right, so some of the things that we may not have seen on here and we can go back and look for would be captions. And we know that captions, who remembers what their job is? Captions are going to tell us about the photograph or the graphic that we're seeing. It might tell us about the map. It might tell us about the diagram that we're looking at or a chart. The caption gives us more information regarding the visual that we're looking at. All right, so let me show you some of the other text features that we did not go over that were not considered to be digital. All right, some of the ones that we've learned about this year, when I open up one of Madison's highlight magazines, you can see it's old, it's from October, makes me think of trick or treating. When I open it up, I see that I've got these page numbers and it tells me what is on those pages. This is called a table of contents. It lets me know what to expect, expect in the book and it organizes the information for me. You can find a table of contents in a nonfiction um, piece of work, which would be like highlights because it gives you all facts, right? Nonfiction gives us factual information. It might be about a specific person or it might be about animals. Nonfiction can be about a lot of different topics, but it's going to be very true facts, okay? We also know though that table of contents can be found in regular novels. So like if I open up Harry Potter or like Tale of Despero or Because of Winn-Dixie, I'm going to see some of those table of contents in there. So like this one, if I go back a page, it'll have the beginning. Okay, and you can see there are a lot of chapters in here and it even says content. So that helps me remember, oh, table of contents. All right, and you see it'll tell you like chapter one and shows you the page, chapter two, and it shows you the page. All right, some of the other text features that we talked about in the school year were an index. Do you guys remember what an index is? When I'm reading a nonfiction book and I go to the back of it, it's going to have all of the different topics in that nonfiction book alphabetically, and it's going to tell me what page they're on, okay? So it's kind of like a table of contents. The table of contents is at the beginning of the book, and it kind of shows me where the information is. It's not alphabetical. When I go to the back of the book, I have an index. It is alphabetical, and it also tells me what page I can find that information on. Okay, all right, um, you guys already are familiar with um, headings and subheadings. You know they organize and tell us, they give us like a preamble of what we're gonna be reading about. They help us get our mind ready so that way we can, when we read that heading, we can ask questions, we can think of things we already know relating to that heading, and then we can read and we can grow our reading, uh, grow our thinking. We can add what we are reading with things that we already know in our schema, okay? 
All right, let me make sure we've gone over all of them. Another one would be bold print, okay, or keywords. We've talked about how sometimes they might be italicized and be slanted. They might also be bold and darker. Let me see if I can find one for you. So when I look over here, Let me see here. So it says, see how cardstock is a different color and they've made it like a darker font. It's bigger, okay? It's bolder. So that bold print is telling us we need to pay attention to it, that it's a keyword. It's important to the topic, all right? So friends, you are actually going to have a little quiz. I want you to open up an email for Miss Mayor and I want you to put the numbers one through 12 and you are going to click on the link that I provided and I want you, when you click on that link, it's gonna look like a worksheet or um, a two page quiz. You do not need to print it. You don't need to um, write anything down. I just want you to type into your email next to your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11, and 12. Type in the answers. You'll see at the top of the page, it'll have a box and it'll have a lot of the text features that we've worked on this year. You will then answers, answer one through 12 using those words at the top, okay? This is honor system. I want you to try your best. Um, we should be familiar with these words. I don't want you asking your parents or an older sister or brother. Um, I want you just to do your best so I can see what you remember, okay? And what text features maybe we still need to work on. All right, so have fun opening up that link and answering those 12 questions. I do know that one of them asked you to draw a picture. You can um, just pick one text feature and just tell me a little bit about it, okay? You don't have to draw anything because I know that might be a little tricky on the computer. So, all right guys, thank you for reviewing all the text features with me. I hope you remember that they help us be better readers. They organize our thinking and that as you're reading and you see these text features, you stop and you think about how they're helping you. All right, have a great day guys.